So hi there, fellow astrophotographers. At one point in your life, you're going to be suffering from what is called aperture fever or focal length fever, and you want that bigger aperture, longer focal length, heavier telescope. And of course, you're also looking for an advanced telescope mount, a future-proof telescope mount that can carry that heavier telescope, camera, guiding gear, and whatever. So, of course, you need a time-tested, classic German equatorial mount like the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. This baby can carry up to 20 kilograms of 45 pounds of payload, has been time-tested, has been on the market for many years now. Um, it's heavy, it's sturdy, it's well-balanced, it uh, tracks with sub-arc second accuracy at longer focal length, so everything you need. But, wait, wait, what, what's that outside? What? I can't believe it. What is that? Hi guys, I don't know what this guy was talking about inside, but obviously this is the future of advanced telescope mount. This is a harmonic drive mount based on strain wave gear technology. Uh, this is the ZWO AM5. It's a beautiful mount, lightweight, compact. Uh, the tripod and the mount head together only weigh about eight kilos or about like 16, 17 pounds. And it can carry up to 13 kilos or 26 pounds without any counterweight attached. So you don't need to balance the mount and you can add a counterweight and then this mount can carry up to 18 kilograms or about like 38 pounds 40 pounds so obviously i don't know what this guy was talking about inside but it's 2023 harmonic drive mounts are the future <laughs> okay okay that guy outside didn't know what he was talking about of course you need a classic german equatorial mount because they have been time tested and been deemed reliable over the years i mean the eq6 Up pro is already on the market for five or six years now people are happy with it it has a worm and bell drive and it's sturdy because i can guide with sub arc second accuracy and <laughs> that thing outside if there's a little bit of wind i don't know if that thing will be able to guide at uh, sub arc second accuracy to be honest and did you look at the prices of most of these harmonic drive mounts they're like uh, hoo -hoo. so um, now I'm going to stick with my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro obviously <laughs> so that guy inside I wish him good luck with that heavy duty equatorial mount obviously he didn't know what he was talking about oh, come on it's 2023 uh, harmonic drive mounts compact lightweight mounts are the future and uh, let's see this this is strain wave gearing technology has been around for decades in other industries so I'm sure this harmonic drive mount ZWO AM5 will prove to be durable and reliable and uh, I wish that guy good luck carrying out and setting up his heavy duty equatorial mount each time I mean I hope he doesn't get any chronic back pain or whatever <laughs> okay okay that guy outside I mean come on those influencers incredible okay I make you deal where where is he he's gone I don't know he's gone okay okay I make you deal guy outside um I will tell you the god honest truth the good the bad and the ugly about having used this Skywatcher EQ6 R Pro for years so you get a little bit of insight into the pros and cons of classic German equatorial mounts in the advanced telescope mount market I guess and hopefully that guy outside will do the same I heard he had this ZWO AM5 for a couple of months now so uh, I want him to tell also the good but also the bad and the ugly so let's go Whew, the truth right it's going to be a bit hard but anyway I'll start I'll start okay so I have been owning this mount for about three months so let me tell you my experiences so far I, I did really fell in love with this mount it's as I said it's super lightweight and compact Get, let me give you one specific example uh, we had the Venus Jupiter conjunction I think the beginning of April right and that conjunction was very low in the evening sky low on the horizon so I took this mount all the way to my rooftop and I had a perfect view of that conjunction. Uh, I even broadcasted that live and I had a lot of fun. I, I would have never done that with my heavy duty Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. Uh, so cool. Um, at the same time, I have been experiencing some issues. And the first issue I've experienced is with the ASCOM driver. So 
ASCOM, for those of you who don't know, probably you do, right? But ASCOM enables your mount to be connected uh, to your computer and use any kind of astrophotography software that uses the ASCOM protocol. Well, the driver they're still promoting on their website, it, it just stops at the meridian and it doesn't do the meridian flip. So again, meridian flip when your mount hits the meridian for a northern hemisphere that's in the south. Uh, you want to perform a flip where the telescope will be slow towards the other position, like the opposite position, and it will continue tracking uh, the object in the night sky. But this harmonic drive mount, it stopped at the, at the meridian using that first version driver. They have been working on the solution. Uh, there are beta drivers now that enable you to do meridian flip, but it should have been worked out, I think, right from the start. Uh, the other thing is wind. I don't know if you hear it, but we have a little bit of wind right now. And uh, I experienced that this, a little, little ZWAM5, this lightweight compact mount, it tracks really well when it is one or two bow four, like uh, almost no wind. But when the winds go up to bow four, three or four, I did experience a wobbling in, in my guiding. So uh, when, when these wind gusts would hit, the, the, the rig here, so this is a, a small TC40 carbon tripod, CWO releases with the AM5. It does uh, cause the, 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 the mount to shake. And uh, of course you, you can see that and the sub arc uh, guiding accuracy is gone. So one way to fix that is of course to, to use a sturdier mount. Uh, you can do that or to add a counterweight, but uh, that's uh, takes away a little bit from the whole thing of being a lightweight and compact mount, I think. But anyway, um, and I did also experience another thing. So um, the connection, the power cable connection, it is a little bit shaky. I had really to 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 plug it in and to tape it sometimes to to um, to keep the power on. So sometimes it would just uh, the power cable would would go out. So. Uh, got honest experiences here using the mount for about three months. So <laughs> what about that other guy? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he has had some issues with his uh, Skywatcher EQ6 R Pro as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that guy outside, I knew it, I knew it. Finally some honesty, but uh, okay. I, th I think I need to be honest about this one as well. So yeah, I have been using the Skywatcher EQ6 R Pro for about three years now and I have I also really love this mount and um, it has been proven really durable really reliable and the main reason why I bought the EQ6R Pro three years uh, ago was that it is able to track the night sky very accurately and it did like um, in PhD2 guiding with multi-star guiding I get 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.4 tracking accuracy with the EQ6R Pro. So I can take those multi-minute pictures of the night sky using longer focal length telescopes. So has been great. At the same time, yes, it is heavy. I think I never carried this EQ6R Pro more than 10 or 20 meters to my balcony or my backyard to set it up. Um, and yeah, you do need counterweights to set up your, uh, your telescope mount. But uh, anyway, it's a little bit of a hassle, but not too much. Um, the, the main issues I have experienced with this mount were when, was when it arrived, first of all. And I don't know whether or not you believe me, you can go back in my YouTube channel for about two or three years. And I have a first light video and actually what happened is that the mount arrived with a loose uh, belt drive. So the EQ6R Pro it uses a worm gear with a belt drive which enables this accurate uh, tracking of the night sky. But the belt drive was loose on one of the axes so I needed to fix that. I fixed that myself in Corona time and it's still, it's still guiding very well. Anyway, that was the first thing I hope they, that was a quality issue I think in the factory. Hope they, 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 they solved that, I think so, hopefully. Um, the, the second thing I really hated about this, uh, the EQ6R Pro was this uh, portal aligning. So you, you had this lever, it's not here anymore, but you had this lever uh, which you needed to, to use to fine tune, uh, I think it's the right ascension axis. So, and that was really hard to use for one reason or another. Um, probably also because I'm close to, I'm, I'm at 52 degrees latitude. So that lever was really close to one of the tripod legs. So you can move the tripod legs a little bit. Um, anyway, there are different solutions, but, but in the end, I just took out that lever and I replaced it with this 3D printed knob. Um, hopefully you can see it, but it is, I think it's from, 
It was some web shop, Astro Dad, something like that. So uh, ever since I didn't experience any issues with polar aligning uh, the mount. My fellow astrophotographers, I hope you like this raw video, even with the sunshine. This raw video where I just shared some of my personal experiences using both the ZWO AM5 and the EQ6 R Pro in the field, as they say. Um, I also wrote an entire blog on advanced telescope mounts that are on the market today because I do think the market has become more diverse, which is a good thing. We have more options to choose from, but that also makes it more difficult. So in that uh, blog post, I discuss different Classic German equatorial mounts like the EQ6 R Pro, but also C Gem 2, SEM40, Gem45. And um, on the other hand, we have a lot of harmonic drive mounts that are becoming available on the market, like the ZWO AM5, which is the most affordable one at the moment. But you have also have Rainbow Astro, Pegasus Astro, and whatnot. Um, also, iOptron is moving towards the strain wave gear mount market. So if you want to know my opinion about those, uh, mounts go to astroforumspace.com if you have any questions about ZWO AM5 EQ6 R Pro or at least my experiences with it put your comments or questions in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them um, if you like this bit of honesty if you like astrophotography please like uh, the video and subscribe to the channel it really helps me a lot to grow on YouTube and yeah, I hope you have positive experiences with these mounts as well. Uh, let me know and see you next time. Clear skies.